Hey, it's Mark from Ripple Training. So last week on MacBreak Studio, I showed you how to build a text animation in motion from scratch. This week, I'd like to pull back the curtain and show you how you can take that starting point to develop a full-fledged commercial plugin for Fonica Pro 10. Here in Motion is the project we built together last week using a couple of shapes and behaviors. You can see it's a fairly simple project with two shapes, a text layer, two groups, and we published some parameters so that when we use it in Final Cut Pro, like this, they appear here in the title inspector and can be adjusted. That's a great start, but to be a truly useful and easy to use plugin for editors, you need to think through how folks will use it, what they'll need, and how to add those features. For example, we'll certainly need a bubble with a tail on the left, and how about a bubble with no tail at all? And what if folks want to use standard texting colors? Instead of making them figure out what they are, why not include them? But then how do you also allow them to use a custom color? These parameters for controlling the animation are not very intuitive. Can we make them easier to adjust? What if you want to adjust the padding around the text? Or add an avatar? Or add a drop shadow to set the text off from the background? How can we make it easier to line up multiple texts? And can the text be animated to move up the screen? What if you wanted to see the three dot incoming text animation? Or send a picture or video? So we go through a process of testing and refining and problem solving over and over to create a better product. Back in motion, here's what we built last week. And here is one template from the completed plugin. You can see it has many more layers, groups, and behaviors but still not a single keyframe. If I select the project, we have many more published parameters organized with dividers to group key parameters together. We've also rigged parameters to a collection of widgets to control certain features. For example, the show avatar widget is a checkbox that turns on the opacity of a masked drop zone. Bubble color is a pop-up widget that has the wells from our color linker behaviors rigged to it. If you choose a different color, the wells are filled with a different source object. This is why I created dedicated color linker shapes rather than just linking the colors of the bubble shapes together. They're much easier to access for rigging. In addition to the standard colors, this widget lets the user choose a custom color with either black or white text on top. The tail location widget is a pop-up that not only switches the tail from one side to the other, it also switches the avatar location, the location of the entire bubble, and uses some additional alignment behaviors to make sure that the text is always aligned left in both bubble types, just like real texts are. This is something that took me a few days to figure out how to do. By building both tail options into a single template, we made it easier for the editor to add texts by duplicating a modified text rather than needing to add a separate new template. The animation speed widget replaces those confusing ramp duration and cycle parameters with a single slider to slow down or speed up the animation. And the show guides widget is a checkbox that turns on both vertical and horizontal guides that include on-screen controls for aligning texts vertically and checking the spacing between texts. And if we go to Final Cut Pro, you can see we've created two additional templates, one for adding the incoming text animation and one for adding images or videos, including ones with transparency. And since we thought folks might want to include text sound effects, we've included those with the plugin, so altogether you can do something like this very quickly. Then we thought that folks may want to animate the text to move up the screen as new ones are added. We created a movie that shows how you can do that with keyframes, but we've also included a library with the plugin that contains a project with six animated text messages and synced sound effects that you can simply copy and paste to your own project and replace the text. After we've repeatedly tested the plugin, added features, fixed problems, and tested some more, we then created custom thumbnails and other artwork, tutorial movies that explain how to use key features, and a teaser video that shows off the product.
So to give you a sense of what's involved, that first pass that we built together last week took a few hours in terms of designing it and creating the tutorial that showed you how to do that. To get to this next step of having a full commercial product, including all of the testing and revising that goes on repeatedly, as well as the marketing materials and support materials to create that, took Steve and I together about 100 hours to produce it. So it's called RT Messages. It's available now. The price is $29, but it's on sale for 50% off for one week only. So if you're interested, grab it. And then let us know, please, below in the comments what you think. We'll see you next week right here on MacBreak Studio.